Kai Kamaka the third and John the Jesus in the featherweight division. John the Jesus, um, pretty solid kickboxer, really good front kicks, really good body kicks, leg kicks, all of that type of stuff. Kind of lays off the gas a little bit later on in the fight, the third, second round. He's got a little bit a little bit of gas left in him, but he doesn't really put out the same effort that he does in the first round. He always goes out there very, very hard in that first round, looking for front kicks, head kicks, um, side kicks, just really, really big shots early on. Kind of gasses a little bit, and it isn't able to keep on that that kind of pace in the later rounds. Coming off a nice win over John Teixeira in his last fight, that was a solid win. Bitty Vladislav Pavlyushenko as well, which is also a very, very solid win, only losing inside of Bellator to Aaron Pico. So that's a not not that bad of a guy to be losing to inside of Bellator. He's going to be two inches taller and have a seven-inch reach advantage over Kai Kamaka the third. So that could definitely play in handy um, for John the Jesus right here. But um, it's a very, very close fight in my opinion. I do believe Kai Kamaka the third should do enough to win the fight. He's a little bit younger, moving from the UFC, where he didn't do, obviously, he didn't do that good, um, beating Tony Kelly in the UFC, then losing to Jonathan Pierce, barely losing to TJ Brown, and beating Danny Chavez, but he lost a point, so ended up losing that one, or it was a draw, actually. Um, but yeah, I, I do believe Kai Kamaka the third, even with the height and reach discrepancies, he definitely is the more, um, not, I wouldn't say more powerful guy, but the more volume type of guy. He doesn't really have any knockouts on his record, just going out out there to land volume, 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 um, and one of the judges' scorecards while also mixing in the takedown here and there. So, um, I believe John the Jesus is going to be looking to keep the fight at range, um, keep it out of a wrestling and grappling type of game plan, and Kai is just going to look to pressure, land that volume, and mix in the takedown. So, um, I don't necessarily think the odds are still the same at like minus 200 uh, for Kai Kamaki. Yeah, minus 200 seems a little bit much. Minus 190 is a little bit more like it, but it's a decently close fight because I, I can definitely see the underdog and John the Jesus literally just keep it ranged, staying away from the pressure of volume, defending the takedowns, and winning the fight. But overall, I do think that Kai Kamaki the third should do enough to win. Um, to get a lot more volume in the tank. He's a little bit, he got a little bit more gas tank as well, uh, has the better wrestling, and he can definitely mix in a little bit of clear work as well. So, uh, I'm going to go Kai Kamaka the third to win the fight by a 29 to 28 decision. One round, I would say goes John to Jesus just because of that high and reach. Just striking a range for that one round. Really good fight in the featherweight division.